What up gamers? It's the Kitty Team here and welcome back to another episode of Game Pre. Today we're checking out a game called The Political Process. You know, we may be a Minecraft channel, but we do play <laughs> a lot of political strategy games. It's quite interesting. I uh, can't wait to receive a comment from people uh, promoting their political candidate down in the comment section. That always happens on our 270 videos, so I'm sure in this game where you s it's a simulation where you get to be your own politician, I'm sure we'll have a lot of that in the comments. But before we get to the video, I just want to tell everyone, <laughs> think some happy thoughts today, you know? Alright, so let's get into it. So you can really customize everything and... <laughs> I, I love the faces in this game. Uh, they always look very realistic. They look like real people. All right, let's see, let's let's just hit this a couple times. See what we get. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, and I'm just not gonna mess with anything here because I just want to show you guys how this game works. It'll be real quick. Well. I'm shooting for 10 minutes, maybe 5. We'll see. So we're Eve Faye. Where's Eve Faye going to be from? They're going to be from Indiana. Um, Morgan County, Indiana. And the city? Oh, of course, it's going to be Gamertown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. This doesn't really matter. Uh, there we go. So what you do in this game is you run for political office. Uh, like here. So I guess we'll, we'll make a run for mayor. And then once you get into that political office, you make laws. So another thing you're going to want to do is it, really, it, it somewhat matters what you choose for your policy. These ones matter. These, not so much. Well, I mean, like, you want to have support from everyone. So we are in a, let's check real quick, our district. We're running for the city district. Oh, they're very Republican. So we probably want to make our our person be very, very conservative. So let's see. Campaign. Policy. Set presets. And we'll go with conservative. And conservative. And that should make our, our support a bit higher. Yes. So next thing we're going to do is we, we need to make some money. Because we need to do a poll to see what people actually want because every they're not they're not gonna have <laughs> that much priority for the economy that might be their top issue but you want to keep your you basically want to match your issues to what everyone wants so, okay let's do a bit of a um some fundraising here there we go we got two thousand dollars we can use that two thousand dollars to do some internet ads to raise our name recognition and from that we'll start to get donors well, wow. There we go. Then we can do a um, poll here. We don't need that much. We just want to see what their priorities are. And then voter intention. Now they're going to be... Oh, we don't have enough money for that. We're just going to do priorities for now. Oh, we don't even have enough money for that. <laughs> okay, we'll be able to do it this turn. All right. We don't want that much. We don't care about the margin of error for this. Okay, so economy is their top issue. So we will keep that. And then they want taxes. Seeing as we're in a conservative county, we'll reduce. There we go. And then they want they want the crime to be <laughs> dealt with. That's good. Everyone wants to reduce the crime rate. There we go. So now we have our issues matched with that. We can do a bit of a... Um, First, actually, let's see what our opponents support. They they support it. All right, let's see if that's what people actually support. We can go here with the economy. Oh, we don't have enough money right now. <laughs> that's going to be our problem, starting a campaign from scratch. All right, let's see. Economy. Okay, 50% of people who are Republicans support raising the minimum wage. Most people do. Okay, that's interesting. We could do an attack ad on them for that. Basically, if we want to win against the incumbent, we got to find an issue that he has that no one really likes. 
And they, they mostly like what he likes, so that's gonna be a bit difficult for us. Let's see. Oh, he supports Free Community College. That could be an issue that they don't like. I don't know. Let's see, how long do we have till our... Okay, we got 13 weeks till the primary. Let's see what their voter intention is right now. Okay, we got about 43% of the vote right now. All right. We'll increase our marketing a bit more so more people know about us. And then we will do this ad. That gave us a little bit more support. This is another thing we should have done from the start, was have our fundraising be a lot, our main focus. Okay. And also we can automate our events here because we just want to have complete fundraising because we don't have any money. All right, there we go. Now, even if we don't win this race, just by even participating in it will help us later on because it will increase our name recognition, so we could make a run for, like, city council or something if we don't win this. Oh, we're getting up there, though. We can also automate marketing, but we don't have a lot of money, but we'll spend about $300 <laughs> on attack ads against Mr. French here. We'll attack him on minimum wage, and we'll attack him on his education policy. Or that's not even something we can attack him on. Uh, we'll attack him on crime. <laughs> there we go. Automate it. And actually, we might be able to spend a little bit more because we are... Let's see. Oh, yeah. We can spend that. Well, we could even up this to $1,600. There we go. All right. Voter intention. Oh, we're getting pretty close. We might be able to, to beat this guy in the primary. It's gonna be difficult. Let's see. We still we don't have a lot of money though. That's our main problem. Open up a couple more offices. That will actually take all our money. <laughs> we can't afford that. But uh, yeah, this is basically what you do for all your races. Once once we get into office, which I'll try to do for this video, we can make laws because I want to show that. That's something you'll do a lot in this game. I might need to cut that in half so we have a bit more money. Continue to attack him on that. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to make a save here. So we can come back and correct our mistakes if uh, this campaign goes horribly wrong, which it probably will. It probably will. All right. There we go. That's very close. All right, at the end of this turn is the election. All right, let's see if we did enough to win. Probably not. Oh, it's very close. Ah, oh, we just barely lost. I don't know if we can do that. Okay, we'll try. We'll try one more time to see if maybe. Cause that was so close. Let's see. Maybe we could do like a speech <laughs> so that doesn't give rallies give us more turnout but i think that's just for the general i don't think that affects primary elections and i think oh these are open so independents can't so we might want to try to find an issue now there's one issue in this game that everyone likes that i found and that is social security so let's see oh yep we're in favor of that so if we just do a quick old Add there. There we go. That gave us a little bit more support.
that. We can do an attack out again. That. End of this turn is when the election is. We'll do one more. If we don't want it this time, I'll make another one where we're already in office so I can show you making laws. That's another big part of this game. Alright. Oh, <laughs> we were ahead for a second. Now there's another thing. There, so we're playing on the normal difficulty, which is how you'll mostly play the game. But we're, we want to win just so I can show you the stuff. So we're going to change our difficulty to very easy. <laughs> And now it doesn't really matter what we'll do, we'll just win. Alright. We're gonna have to wait till next year before we take office. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna beat this guy because we're on very easy difficulties. He wouldn't have won anyway because of the district we're in. All right. So once you're in office, you can also choose all this. These don't really seem to affect things, but I'm sure in the future in updates, they will affect things. But right now they're just, they just all don't really do anything. So you have your challenges. So your campaign promises will go here and you can get political points. And those political points will either make people side with you when you're voting on things, and they also give you more protege slots. What protégés are are people that you can have run in other districts for you. Like, they're your candidates, and they, they will mostly vote for you, I'm pretty sure, if you have them in office where you're at. You'll also get challenges from your constituents, and if you do these, you will raise your approval rating. But if you do things that your constituents don't like, it will lower your... <laughs> it's very obvious, but I'm still going to explain it here. It's like, one of our campaign promises was raising the minimum wage. So if we do that... Oh, we have a... <laughs> very bad. There we go. Increasing that. There we go. We complete our campaign promises. But I also raised taxes, which they don't like. So that's why... My approval rating went down, but that that's the game. It's kind of fun. Uh, it's really fun to see if you can fix the United States because we don't start off in the best of positions. <laughs> but this is the political process. It's on sale on Steam. Well, it's not. It's not. It's it's for sale on Steam. It's not on sale right now. Um, for fifteen dollars, it's a lot of fun, and I recommend it. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.